Well, we're here today because Toronto Fire Services has been absolutely amazing at supporting breast cancer research. And unfortunately, when I was diagnosed in July with breast cancer, um, I unfortunately had to um, undergo chemotherapy. And in doing that, I've lost my hair. So the guys in support of me, which is absolutely amazing, decided to uh, come out today and do firefighters who dare to be bare. And they all shaved their heads, the whole crew, which was just amazing. Um, and I think it's just really important to sort of get that message out to everybody that although, you know, cancer and breast cancer can be really scary, um, it's amazing to see the support that you can get from your family and your friends and uh, the community. And so that's why they came out here to do this. And, and it's also um, a great way to talk about the community and talk about the charities that are out there, one of them being um, CIBC Run for the Cure, which is on Sunday, which we've been able to put together a team of 65 people called Jenny B's Gang that are all going to be out on Sunday um, doing the walk. And we've raised over $15,000, which is just incredible. Um, and it's the thanks to Toronto Fire Services, my husband, the crew here, our family, our friends. Um, really overwhelming and uh, it's just incredible the love and support that they've shown us. So um, yeah, we're really happy to be here and it was a really great day. Um, I came into work uh, and I told the, the crew about Jen's uh, situation and uh, right away they were like, you know what, what can we do? And and they were actually the ones with the uh, the idea. So I, I approached her about it and she said, I think that'd be great. So yeah, so it's mostly my crew. I. I you know, they just, uh, they've been overwhelmed with support and it's, it's been great. Yeah, they yeah. really stepped up, which is just amazing. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, they're, they're so involved in so many charities, but you know, this is just obviously close to home. So yeah. and, um, and it came in a perfect time. I mean, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so yeah. it was good. And we all got our pink t-shirts in. Yeah. I started a blog when all of this happened because I wanted to talk about what was happening for me. And I think what's really important is getting information out there to other women to help them understand um, what this is all about and to make sure they do self-examinations. And if they find anything, to make sure they call their doctor and get tests done. Um, what's really scary is one in nine women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. It's a scary statistic and I think the more that we can do to educate women on making sure that they go and see their doctor and get tested and, and make sure that you know maybe what they have is, is not breast cancer and take away that worry. And if it is breast cancer, know that they've got support and know that they've got the love of their family and their friends and their community to help them get through this. I think that's an important message, so. Oh! Okay, you can do the rest. <laughs> I feel these weird drafts like coming from like these the different spots. It's not good. Eh? It's like shoddy insulation. It's like living in my house. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to start from the side? It doesn't matter. Just don't leave. I'm going to save a lot of money on hair products. <laughs> oh